Happy Thompson Thursday, fabulous firsties. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, today we're going to keep working on the bossy R, er, sound. What sound do you hear that is the same in my sentence? Shirley's birds chirp first. That's right, they all have the er. They all have the IR sound, but it can be hard to know. Is it IR? Is it ER? Which one is it? But remember, you learn ER most of the time is at the end of the word. So IR most of the time could be at the beginning or the middle of the word. I also like to think of the word bird. Now look at this, bird. See if I drew an I, R. See how it fits right in there in the shape of the bird? And bird has the I, R, er, in the middle of it. Let's read some more sentences and we'll find the er, I, R sound. Let's read it once. We'll go back and find the er a second time. A girl can whirl in a skirt and a shirt. A bird can chirp in a fir tree. Let's read it again. Tell me to stop when you hear one of our er words. A girl, stop. There's the I R. Can whirl. In a skirt er, and a shirt. Stop. Er. <clears throat> a bird. Stop. Er. Can chirp. Stop. Er. In a fur. Nice reading. Now we are going to read a story and you're going to look for any of the bossy R's. Okay, it could be ER or IR in this book, Changing Seasons. So I'm going to read a page to you and then I want you to tell me what words you see that have the ER, ER or IR. I live where the weather changes during the year. It changes with each season. We have four seasons. There's one word on this page that has the er sound. Weather. And the er is at the end, so it's an er. We start with spring, then comes summer, then comes autumn, then comes winter. There are two words on this page that have the er sound. They are the words summer and winter. Again, it's at the end, so it's an er. It is spring and the snow melts. It gets warmer and plants begin to grow. The days get longer and the nights get shorter. I wear my jacket. There are three words on this page that have the er sound. What are they? Hmm. When it gets warmer, and the days get longer, and the nights get shorter. They all have er at the end. <clears throat> it is summer. It gets hot and the plants grow bigger. 
The days are long and the nights are short. I wear my shorts. Two er words. Some er and big er. Have er at the end, so it's an er. It is autumn. It gets cooler and the plants stop growing. The days get shorter and the nights get longer. I wear my jumper. Four words on this page. It gets cooler. The days get shorter. The nights get longer. And I wear my jumper. It is winter. It is cold and many plants die. The snow begins to fall and the days are short. I wear my coat. Only one word on this page. Winter. ER at the end. The weather has changed with each season. It got warmer and warmer. The days got longer and longer. Then it got cooler and cooler. The days got shorter and shorter. Five on this page. Can you find them all? The weather changed when it got warmer and warmer. And then the days got longer and longer. It got cooler and cooler. And the days got shorter and shorter. Oops, I was wrong on that one. There's more than I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones on that page. No wonder I missed some. Next, I will see spring again. The cycle will start again. No er words on that page. Nice job reading that. All right, now I've got your words for the week. Here's our sight words we should know on sight. Whoops, just kidding. I'm sorry, my words got mixed up. Here's our sight words we should know on sight. Mother. Why don't you just spell it with me? M-O-T-H-E-R. Mother. Now take your finger and pretend your finger is a pencil and the air is a paper. Write it in the air. M-O-T-H-E-R. Mother. And what do we see at the end of mother? E-R, er. Another, let's spell it. A-N-O-T-H-E-R. E-R at the end. Now take your finger and write it. A-N-O-T-H-E-R. Another. Good, now. These are our high frequency words, words we see a lot. After, spell it. A F T E R. After. Now write it in the air. A F T E R. After. And again, look at the end. E R. Ask. A S K. Ask. Now write it in the air. A S K. Ask. Now you're going to play a game with these words. If you have a partner to play with, it'll make it a little bit more fun, but you could also do this by yourself. You will need a dice. You're going to roll the dice 
whatever number you roll is the word you're going to read. So if you roll a one, you'll read another. If you roll a two, you'll read mother. If you roll a three, you'll read ask. If you roll a four, you'll read after. If you roll a five, you'll read kind. If you read roll a six, you'll read does. And if you really want to challenge yourself, maybe you could try spelling the word as well. You could spell it while you're looking at it, or maybe you could even close your eyes and see if you can spell it. So I want you to pause the video, get a dice, play the game. I want you to play the game for at least five minutes, but if you want to play more than that, you can. So pause the video right here, play your game. Have fun. All right, I hope you had a lot of fun spelling and reading your words. One last thing to do today and we are done. Today, I'm going to write a sentence. So I have my triangle to remind me, start with a capital letter. I have my square to remind me, end with punctuation, with an end mark. I'm going to pound out my words to see how many lines I need. So I've already done that. Did you hear the bird chirp in the fir tree? Now I can write my words. I've got this to remind me. Start with a capital letter. D, 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 I, d, did, you, that's a sight word, I should know that one, hear, h, e, er, did you hear the, it's a sight word, bird, b, er, D, chirp, ch, er, p, in, the, fur, f, er, tree, tr, e. And then for my end mark, I'm not going to put a period because I'm asking a question. I'm going to put a question mark. Now it's your turn. I want you to write a sentence that has one of the er words in it. Maybe girl or world or skirt or shirt or bird or chirp or fur. Try writing a sentence that has one of those. Start with a capital letter. Spaces between your words. And mark at the end and stretch out all those sounds. Good work today, first grade. See you next week.